Hi there, my name is Tom and I'm a member of the Data School's 27th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video I'm going to show you how to build a bullet chart in Tableau. This will help you compare the performance of a primary measure to one or more other measures. So let's jump straight into Tableau and get started. Here we have the chart we're going to be building today. We're looking at 2021 sales compared to 2020 sales broken down by product subcategory with 2020 sales split into percentage targets by the shading behind each bar and the 2020 total marked by each of the black lines. The first thing to do is connect to data. For this example, I'm using sample EU Superstore data provided by Tableau. In our new sheet, what we need to do now is create two calculated fields to get our 2020 and 2021 sales. Now I already have them in place, so I'll just open them up so you can see them. Here we have our 2020 sales. And here we have our 2021 sales. Next, we're going to start dragging these fields into the view. So let's bring 2021 sales onto columns and break this view down by product subcategory. I'm going to change the view to entire view. And now bring 2020 sales onto detail. Although 2020 sales is not in the view, it needs to be on detail so we can refer to it in the next step, which is to bring in a distribution band. To do this, we're going to head to the analytics pane and drag in a distribution band per cell. We'll get this pop-up box for which we can specify the percentages we want to see in our view. In this example, we're going to be changing these percentages to 25, 50, and 75. And we also need to specify that we want this computed using 2020 sales and sum. And we can leave the label and tooltip as is. In the formatting section, I'm going to tick this box here, fill below, which is going to allow us to get this stepped color option, which I'm going to leave as gray light. I'm also going to tick fill above, but this is just an option and depends on what you think works best for your chart. At this stage, you'll notice we don't have the thicker black line for total 2020 sales that we have in the original. So to get that, we simply need to drag on a reference line, again per cell, and we need to change the value to sum 2020 sales, sum again, and then just format accordingly. A couple more things, I'm just going to make the size of the bars a little bit smaller. And the last thing I'd recommend is to add a row divider to split up each product subcategory. So to do that, I'm going to right click anywhere in the view and select format. Come into my borders, into the row divider section, and I'm going to add in a white row divider and make sure this slider is all the way to the top. Now again, this is optional, but I think it splits up the chart nicely and distinguishes each of the subcategories in the view. Before we finish, there is an even easier way of building this chart, which can be done in a couple of clicks. So I'm just gonna head into a new worksheet and pull our data pane back up. And I'm going to drag my calculated fields into the column shelf. So let's bring in 2021 sales first, followed by 2020 sales. And I'm going to break this view down by product subcategory. Next, we're going to head to this show me button in the top right hand corner and come down to bullet graph. Selecting that will give you a view very similar to the one we have built. All you would need to do now is edit the distribution band to your desired computation. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in building a bullet chart in Tableau. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to video we've suggested by my fellow data schoolers. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next, and do subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.